Busa was Libya's former chief of spies, but now evidence has emerged that he also helped organize the torture of Gaddafi's opponents and even inflicted the abuse himself. Shortly after Libya's uprising began in March this year, Musa Kusa fled to the United Kingdom and was interviewed by the police about the Lockerbie bombing. But then he took off again. Paul Kenyon reports. This was Musa Kusa in 1980, the Libyan ambassador to London, but he was expelled for backing the assassination of Gaddafi opponents living in the UK. When he returned to Libya, he was chief of spies and some say Gaddafi's head of interrogation. This is Abu Salim prison where Gaddafi once dumped political opponents. Out of the ruins, we acquired tapes of inmates being tortured. The images were taken in May this year, after Musa Kusa had fled. But former prisoners are now coming forward to describe his hands-on role in extracting information. Often, he would leave the interrogation to his juniors, and he'd sit here and wait for the victim to be delivered with confession into his presence. On other occasions, he'd be the one delivering the blows. Mufta al Thawadi spent nearly two decades here, eight years of it in isolation, in a cell with just a hole in the ceiling for light. It was here he came across Musa Kusa. While I was being questioned, Musa Kusa was electrocuting me in my neck with the electric rod. And then while I was talking, he told me, shut up, and struck me with the electric rod on my tooth here and broke it. When Tony Blair met with Gaddafi in 2004, Britain's improved relations had been mediated by Musa Kusa. And it was Britain he chose to defect to at the start of the uprising. He stayed for two weeks. Mufta al Thawadi believes he should never have been allowed to leave. Musa Kusa practiced torture. Musa Kusa tried to give Western people the impression that this regime wasn't a criminal regime, and this in its own right is a crime. This is why it's imperative that the West, whether it's governments or people, must hand over this criminal to justice. But Musa Kusa is no longer in the West. We found him staying at this luxury resort in Qatar. Hello, Mr. Kusa, BBC Television. How many people are you responsible for torturing, Mr. Kusa? <laughs> Over the years. How many people are you responsible for torturing, Mr. Kusa? Some of them you tortured yourself, didn't what you? What do you want? These are all questions. As further allegations emerge, it's likely the international criminal courts will want to discover more about Musa Kusa's role in crimes against humanity. Paul Kenyon, BBC News. Well, the UK government says Musa Kusa is a private individual and uh, there are no charges laid against him. He's allowed to come and go as he pleases. You can see Panorama's Britain, Gaddafi and the torture trail tomorrow night. That's on BBC One at half past eight. Well, we can talk to the Libyan activist Mufta Abdel Samad, who joins me in the studio now. A very good afternoon to you. I, I want to come to what's going to happen in Libya today in a moment, the, yeah. the liberation That's ceremony. Liberation. But first of all, just to carry on from Musa Kusa, tell me what you know of him and what are your thoughts? Well, he was a student in the USA. He became to permanent in 1979. In the 1980s, he was sent to Britain to uh, eliminate some of Gaddafi's uh, opponents, my dear friends, and he was a nasty person. He was, you know, really nasty. I mean, he has no uh, human feelings for nobody. I remember in 1980s demonstration outside the Libyan embassy in St. James's. Uh, he came out of the embassy. He walked. He was really, you know, he said something to the police, one of the policemen, officers, and then uh, he just looked at us and spat. But at us, you know, it was, it was... And this is the demonstration at yeah. which Yvonne Fletcher was... No, this there. is uh, n before that. Before Yvonne that. Fletcher was 1984. Yeah. This is 1980. When you see the allegations made um, in that clip from Panorama yeah. against him, what are your thoughts? What can I say? I mean, everybody knows Ms. Musa Kosa. I mean, Ms. Musa Kosa had uh, a terrible history in Libya. He, a man who enjoyed torture himself. He used to torture people in, in prison. He goes to the prison just to torture people. And uh, who doesn't know Musa Kosa? Do you think people would come forward now to give evidence of course, against him? Of course, I'm sure a lot of people will come out and, you know, will hear things. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. And when he came to Britain and then went on through onto Switzerland, we believe, and yes. now in Qatar, what were your thoughts? 
Everybody was angry because we wanted him to be in Libya, to be uh, tri you know, sent to trial and, you know, we'll give him the full uh, treatment, you know. He's got the courts and he can state his case. But we think there is people behind him that don't want him to be caught. They don't want him to be, because he's got, you know, he's an intelligent uh, officer, head of the intelligence, actually. So he knows a lot. He knows a lot. So some people don't want him out of the way. Let's uh, come back to today to more happy matters, perhaps. I'm smiling. Yes, you are. You've been smiling since you came into the studio. So this liberation ceremony this afternoon, how does this make you feel? Uh, I'm elated. You know, the elation inside me is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I've been waiting for this day for the last 34 years. I know some people said, you know, Gaddafi shouldn't have been killed this way. Or, you know, it was a brutal and uh, savagery in it. But what, when, you th when we're talking about Gaddafi, a man who showed no mercy to nobody, a man who lived by the sword, dies by the sword. And uh, I think it's we, what we need now in Libya, a closure. Just that's it. My young brother just came back from uh, the front y yesterday, and he gave me a good news. He said, uh, from tonight, we'll start handing out our guns to the government, to the TNC. Nobody's going to carry arms anymore. We're going to be peaceful. We have a country, a, a new country to build. and. Uh, that, that's very encouraging news, isn't it? Because one of the thoughts had been, given the fact that the rebels, as they were then, yeah. they were just ordinary people who took up arms. How Engineers, difficult, doctors, how, and the exactly. How difficult would it have been then to, to withdraw that for people to go back to uh, some form of normality? They're all agreed since uh, yesterday. Especially what about leadership, though? Is there agreement on who should lead? Uh, what? Well, you know, we're going to leave that to the election. First of all, we need the constitution. That's very important. Mm -hmm. You know, to to guide us. But I think uh, that once we have election, we we'll choose our own politicians, free, nobody tell us who to vote for. And I'm so optimistic about Libya future. I'm so happy and so optimistic. What about the rest of your family there? What have you been hearing over these past months? It's been terrible for them, especially I have a brother in uh, Tripoli. And because we are originally from the East, and Gaddafi's men they were targeting people from the East. They had some rough times, you know, they, they couldn't go out and, you know, they were short of food. But what uh, really hurt me, last Tuesday, we lost a great, brave commander. His name is Mustafa bin Derdev. He left four, he's under 36, he left four little girls and a young boy. And, uh, and that's the human face of the price that has price. had to be yes, paid. Yes. Are you going to go back? Definitely. How long is it since you've been there? I went uh, back in last May for 12 days. I just want to see the feeling and, uh, you know, mm. and, uh, and I was so happy. But uh, I'm planning to go back, uh, especially, uh, I'm sorry to say this, I'm going, to, I'm going to stay in England in spring, summer and autumn, but winter I'm going to Libya. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do with the cold anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Samad. Uh, we much. wish you well and you. Uh, enjoy your trip back home to Libya. Thank Plus you. you. Thank you.